What is going on YouTube and welcome to the Legion of Comics. I'm Mark and I'm really excited to share this video today. It's the Joe Fest, the Augusta Toy and Comic Con 2021 video. I was able to go to my first comic convention in a long time uh, a couple weekends ago and I finally got it all put together. I'm excited to show you all what all I picked up and some of the people that I met that were there. But before I do, check this out. Real quick, if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I have hit a major milestone over the weekend. I hit my 4,000 watch hours. It's part of the two major milestones that uh, people try to hit to accomplish to really upgrade your channel to the next level. So I will be celebrating that milestone. Uh, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for it, and that will be announced and coming up in uh, the next few days or possibly the next week. I am going on a vacation at the end of this week, so I'm trying to figure out and get everything in order what I'll be doing with the channel while I'm on vacation. I'll definitely have content coming up but you will not want to miss out on that announcement. And it will be limited to the subscribers, which I'm at about three, uh, 870 something. So I'm getting close to the 900 subscriber mark as well, which there'll be a big celebration for that. There's just a lot going on right at around 900, just at the 4,000 watch hours. I'm not far away from the one year anniversary of doing the YouTube thing. So you definitely want to be a subscriber because all the stuff that I'll be doing will be beneficial to only the subscribers and the people that have been supporting the channel this far, which I really appreciate. All right, all that's done. So let's get right into it. Uh, so two weekends ago, it was the Augusta Toy and Comic Show. It's uh, called the Joe Fest, and it was fantastic. I had a blast going. I was able to go with the entire family. It was held at the uh, Augusta Convention Center that we have here. It was a really big format, especially for Augusta. And I've got some pictures loaded up here to show you guys and just to get an idea how big it was. This isn't even a shot of the whole room. I mean, this is, I mean, the cameras can only do so much, but you can see there's tons of vendors there. There was tons of people with all kinds of toys, all kinds of comics. Uh, my LCS was set up. The Augusta Book Exchange was there, of course. And uh, that was definitely the first thing that we stopped at. And Finn picked up an awesome lightning figure, uh, action figure from the Power Rangers, uh, the Green Zeo Ranger. And as you see, uh, the LCS owner, Paul, up there, also a Burke fan member, was rocking the Legion of Comics shirt, which I really appreciate. And there was just there was just a ton of people. It was, it was really nice to see people out being able to do stuff again. And there's books galore, like tons of vendors that just had slabs and slabs and slabs. It was just a really, really good time. And it was awesome seeing some of the throwback toys that were there and everything. My dad even was able to pick up an original $6 million man action figure that uh, is one that he'd been after for a long time with a bi uh, bionic eye that you can look through and everything. I meant to pull a picture for that, but I, I forgot to pull one. But uh, some of the people that we're able to meet, and normally the main uh, person that's advertised for it is Sergeant Slaughter himself. He was really cool. We talked to him for a minute. Didn't get anything signed from him or nothing. There was uh, like $40 a signature and uh, didn't really have anything of like, I'm not a huge G.I. Joe collector. I've got a lot of John Jane covers from it, but uh, yeah, some of the people that I was actually excited to meet was uh, uh, Warrington, uh, Warrington Gillette, who is Jason in Friday 13th part two. He had an awesome setup table with all kinds of swag. You know, you can get prints, masks, actual machete signed by him. It was a really nice guy. Like he was super nice. And uh, I did not get any of his merchandise. I actually came with my own when I met him and I got him to sign what I picked up. You see me holding it up. I got my own hockey mask there, which I'll show you here in a minute. And got the whole team there. We got pops up there, uh, the wife, the little one, me, Finn and him. And he was such a nice guy, like super duper cool. And, uh, see what else we got and then uh there's a few wrestlers you know there's uh ron simmons my dad had a good time hanging out talking to him for a few minutes and uh, it, was, it was really cool but uh, absolutely my favorite had to be justin nimmons who is the silver ranger uh in power rangers and uh he was awesome that's actually him flipping through one of my books that he hadn't seen before because he wanted to check out the story in it and he was he was awesome he let finn actually put on his helmet as you can see like they're just sitting there kicking it just rocking it he, he was just an awesome guy yeah, I haven't met a nicer person in my life. And I even have a little video clip here I want to show y'all from where he let Finn actually check out his helmet. Wow. How awesome. Whoa, you the real Power Ranger, Finn. All right, here it comes. We're going to take a picture. One, two, three. Got it. Thank you so much. Yeah, that was, that was awesome. Like that was definitely the highlight of the whole thing for me. 
But uh, he was just the nicest guy in the world. But just want to go through some of the stuff that I picked up, show you guys. I did score some awesome things. I even picked up something for some friends and already shipped it to them, and that uh, popped up on their channel as well already. But uh, I brought my own hockey mask, and I got it out of this Friday the 13th box that I've had since it came out. It was a deluxe edition. It comes with all the films in it and a hockey mask that's normally on the inside right there. So I wanted to get that signed so that when I put it back in there, it's got that window box and everything. But he signed it, Warrington Gillette. Jason too, and then he uh, customized it to Legion of Comics. Your asses at the late. So he was fantastic. He was such a fun dude. And then uh, a local shop that actually closed down during COVID, I had a pre-order for Amigo figure through, and he was actually there, and I was able to meet up with him and pick up something that I pre-ordered a long time ago from him. And uh, that's that Amigo Aiden Superman figure. I pretty much, uh, when it comes to Migos, I collect just Superman and Hulk ones. I've got a bunch of vintage ones and everything. And when Migo relaunched, when uh, Marty Abrams got it back and rolling, I've been gotten all the Superman ones they've done since then. But uh, it's really awesome. I do hate that they have the new 52 Superman pictured on the box and then just the classic on the front. Migo really doesn't seem like they have all their stuff together these days. But uh, I did go with the store folio. I brought couple of books that I'll try to get signed. There was supposed to be a Blue Ranger there, but he was unable to make it due to family stuff going on. It was like his wife was having a baby shower. So I, this is like one of those few times I actually got to use the store folio that I have. I don't like take it to my LCS with me or nothing crazy like that. I just, you know, I just take it when there's a, a need to. But uh, it was really fun to actually be able to know that the stuff that I was picking up and everything was actually safe. And, uh, so a couple of the books that I took, well, there's only one that I took that I ended up getting signed. I did take my first appearance of the uh, Ranger Slayer because there's the Blue Ranger that was there, and unfortunately, he wasn't there. And this was an exclusive one, too, the Hyper Force exclusive. So I missed out on getting that signed, but it's awesome. He wasn't there for a good reason. So uh, but going to Justin Nimmons, the Silver Ranger, who also played the Psycho Silver Ranger. So I took my Lightning figure here. Is this Lightning or Legendary? What legacy collection figure? And I picked this up from Dead Media Collectibles here locally. And uh, he signed the back as well as, I don't know if he meant to sign the back or if he didn't realize it wasn't the front. I didn't even ask him to. He just did it anyways. But he signed the actual figure, Justin Emmons, Zahn, and it says, let's rock it. So that was really awesome. Like that, that was, that was above and beyond, man. And then, uh, a few videos back, if you watch my channel, you saw where I made an eBay purchase, and I forgot what the book was that I bought, but the, the seller threw in some free stuff. They threw in a Seven Secrets number one exclusive as well as a Power Ranger New Dawn uh, exclusive, and it happened to have the Silver Ranger on it. I said, that's fantastic. I could get that signed, and I did. So right above him right there, this is only like one of like two covers that I've seen with him on it. And uh, so this was definitely the go-to one. Uh, there's this one in like the Forever Silver cover where it just has every Silver Ranger that's appeared in Power Rangers. But this one was awesome. Loved it. Fantastic. So that's what I got signed by him. And then I did find and pick up a few books right off the bat when I got there. I saw this book and a little bit of FOMO kicked in. And, uh, you know, especially since it's popped. And I figured this is a crisp, crisp copy why not? So I did pick up a Venom number nine, first full appearance of Dylan Brock, especially since after Venom 200. And they did that whole thing with him sharing the symbiote with Eddie or whatever it is they're doing. But I did pick that up. I had the full intention of sending it off to get graded and seeing what happens with it. It got it for a great price. But uh, then I picked up a Tales of the Teen Titans issue number 44, that first Nightwing. Love me some Teen Titans. This will go good with my death stroke and then another book that i have that you'll be appearing on the channel uh the week i'm on vacation i'll be pre-uploading a lot of stuff to show off i got I pretty much have like a week of keys that'll be going down but i thought that this was awesome another great price another great seller uh he doesn't have like an online shop or anything he just does cons and whatnot so i would plug him otherwise and then the final three books that i got i got together as a group set and uh, that's Mr. Miracle number two, the first appearance of Granny Goodness, because you know I love my DC Kirby's. And uh, this book is going to find its way onto that wall. I'm going to swap one out because it's another DC Kirby first with that Granny Goodness. You know, she trains all of Darkseid's Furies and everything and love Mr. Miracle. Bam. 
So I was really excited to get that. And then I picked up a copy of The Killing Joke. And as you see, it has an $80 price tag on it. This is a completely minty, minty copy. And I did not pay that for it. So that first print Killing Joke with that beautiful Brian Bolland cover. Such an iconic story. Such an iconic cover. And this is where he shoots Barbara Gordon paralyzing her. And that's just awesome to have. And then finally, my favorite one of the entire trip. This is this is my number one book that I picked up, and it's in a uh, mid-grade, and it is one of the most iconic covers that has ever existed, hands down, from the legendary Neil Adams himself, and that is Superman issue 233. Look at that. My God. And for those who don't know, what one thing that's so cool about this cover is Neil Adams actually isn't a huge fan of it. He, he loves the original, already did, but if you look close, Superman's leg right here was actually extended so that they could fit in this uh, this type right here, Kryptonite Nevermore. So you can now that you know, you can kind of see his legs longer than it should be. But still, this is one of my favorite covers of all time. Love Superman to death. So I was super excited when I saw this. And uh, when I saw it, I saw the price it had on it. And I'm like, that looks a little off. And these the sellers were fantastic. They were really nice. And we put together... The, this three book lot, I got it for a killer deal, killer deal. They, they were really cool. So yeah, that's definitely uh, the highlight purchase of the trip. So let me know in the comments, what do you think about this stuff? What did you think about going back to cons? Are you looking forward to going to any conventions? I know I got a lot of friends that are looking forward to going to uh, C2E2 coming up and uh, up in Chicago. So let me know what you think of this haul. How cool is this? I mean, come on. That's amazing. But that's really it for tonight, guys. Uh, be sure to hit that notification bell, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Be on the lookout for awesome content dropping this week. I got some sweet AOKs from the community uh, that came in uh, out of nowhere. And I'm looking forward to posting those videos later this week. And you don't want to miss those. They're fantastic. And I hope you can join me every Sunday night at 9 p.m. for At Weeks in the Spoiler Field Look Back at every week in comics where we just hang out and chat with the community. It's a really good time. So until next time, guys, as always, I'm Mark, but we are Legion.